Hello, Awkward Knots. I woke up this morning and realized that yesterday was the last day of classes. I didn't have to awaken by a quarter to eight, but I got up anyway, early. I found my eyes and they found that outside it was super bright. I started out my day as every vlogging nerd fighter does, with a camera shot in the mirror, toothbrush in hand. Preparing myself by watching some original thoughts from places from the convenience of my iPod on my side in my bed, I began my day. After waiting for Mark to wake up from his post-wake-up nap, we rode our bicycles halfway across town to our favorite coffee shop. Oh yeah, there are supposed to be thoughts and memories in this video. The thing I love about Gunnison is its smallness. I live a 5-10 to ten minute bike ride away from Western's campus, depending on the weather. Recognizing half the people you see in the supermarket or on Main Street is just so amusing. There is something very communal about this town, with only six stoplights. Anyway, we arrived at the Bean and after ordering, immediately began on the projects we took with us. Some knitting, I mean homework, <coughs> and a dodecahedron puzzle, plugging up our ears with music, podcasts, and conversation. We immediately took to keeping ourselves busy in this place, which is what we always seem to do, keep busy. Neither of us is the super outdoorsy type, much unlike the majority of people who are drawn to this small mountain town, so keeping ourselves busy with our own interests becomes somewhat of a, th of a struggle when it's balls cold for much of the year and we've grown tired of webcomics, Netflix, and schoolwork. It's a good thing today was warm. After a productive morning with coffee and tea, we rode past our house we inhabited last year, our third move in this place, and we r realized they just turn on the ditches, the moats around residential blocks, supposedly used to irrigate lawns with the abundance of stored water from snow-capped mountains surrounding Gunnison. We, uh, we all know that the ditches deter drunken douchebags with an ice-cold H2O barrier. The summers in Gunnison are defined by the running of the ditch, starting in May and ending just after the hoped-for Indian summer early in November. And the summers here are what you live for. The winters can sometimes be unbearable, especially when you don't have the time and money to spend skiing or boarding at the nearby resort. Summers full of hikes, camping, farmers markets, working, and sunbathing in the brighter-than-ever sun for the all-too-short three- to four-month season is the life. But these days we live for, they are days like today. Yesterday's weather was just around freezing where I could see my breath at a class potluck outside. And as Colorado weather follows, today was in the balmy high 50s. And it was not only the climate that catalyzed my disposition today. On our way home from an errand, after I decided to take the scenic route back through town, we suddenly came upon nine black bags full of books, just waiting to be rummaged through before the garbage truck came. I really hope the landfill wasn't their fate. We came out with a full basket of reading and crafting material, contented with the coincidence of stumbling upon a treasure during a leisurely bike ride. And here I am trying to remember what I was going to talk about here, maybe how not only does a person adapt to a place, but how a place can also adapt to a person with the connections they make over the years they inhabit and synthesize in it and with it. I don't remember exactly what my point was going to be, but after an end-of-the-year lunch with one of my school clubs, I decided to go down to the river. This is where I floated just after enrolling, where I came on a summer walks and bike rides, took picnics with where a number of my classes met. This river, the flowing of and through Gunnison, narrates my time in this place well. I have traversed through school for a good part of my life now, and this is where I changed and grew up the most. My life meanders through Gunnison, taking gradual, gentle turns here where I hope to spring off from the headwaters of my learning and experience down into the real world after one last summer.